Episode three, governance. Who's really making the decisions? The next time you renew your driver's license or apply for a government benefit online, there's a chance an AI system is involved in the process. Governance has always evolved with technology. The invention of writing gave us laws, telegraphs and telephones help us build more modern nation states. Computers brought us data-driven policies. Now, artificial intelligence is becoming part of how societies are run, often quietly behind the scenes. So we have to ask, will AI make governance smarter or just less accountable? Today, AI is everywhere in public systems. Cities use it to manage traffic lights and energy grids. Governments use algorithms to detect tax fraud, allocate welfare resources, or process paperwork faster. Chatbots field your questions about renewing licenses or paying taxes. Use well, AI can make public services more efficient and responsive. But governance isn't just about efficiency, it's about trust, fairness, and human judgment. Consider public safety. Some police departments use AI to predict where crime might happen. Courts have experimented with algorithms to help decide who gets bail or how long a sentence should be. These tools promise objectivity, but we've already seen how they can reflect and even emphasize society biases. Automated bias. Facial recognition systems have misidentified people of color as much higher rates and risk assessments algorithms have unfairly flagged minority defendants at higher risk. When AI gets it wrong, injustice is not just a glitch, it can cost people their freedoms or rights. Surveillance. AI-powered cameras and monitoring systems can make cities safer or turn them into surveillance states without safeguards, technologies like facial recognition and social credit scoring can be used to track citizens, suppress opinions, and erode privacy. Even in democracies, the line between safety and surveillance is getting thinner. Yet, there is also enormous potential if we use AI wisely in government. Inclusive policy. AI can help leaders listen better. For example, in Taiwan, algorithms assist in crowdsourcing public opinions to find common ground for policy decisions. Smarter allocation. AI can predict where resources are needed most, from vaccine distribution to wildfire responses, potentially saving money and lives by getting aid to the right place at the right time. Global coordination. At a global level, AI can analyze climate data, economic trends, or public health metrics to help nations collaborate and respond faster to shared challenges. So where does that leave us? AI can make governance more efficient and even more inclusive or it can make it more opaque, biased, and controlling. It all depends on how we integrate it and who stays in charge of the decisions. We need transparency. We need accountability. And we need to draw clear lines for where algorithms end and human judgment must remain in control. Good governance isn't about making decisions faster, it's about making them better with context, compassion, and respect for human dignity. Here's the bottom line. Will AI help governments serve people more wisely, or will it quietly shift power away from the public? The technology is already here. It's how we design, regulate, and question its use that will decide who's really making the decisions in the future of our democracy.